Biyahe kasama si DJ Lala a arangkada na. Ngayong oras na to, my love, I think it's time na basahin na natin ang sulat na nanaipadala sa atin para sa ating biyahe center of the night. This one ay mula sa ating page, DJ Lala uh, Banderas. Ito na po ang story ang pinadala ni Fibo Nachi. Para familiar sa akin to. Anyway. Hi, DJ Lala. Hindi ko alam kung alin ang sagot sa nararamdaman ko ngayon for my ex-boyfriend. Nagi kami po noong fourth year high school, but it all started because of peer pressure. Yung tipong tinutokso kami ng mga kaibigan at classmates namin na magjowa raw kami, kaya ayun, tinotohanan namin. At first, it was all puppy love. Pero hindi nagtagal, minahal ko siya ng sobra. Sobra, sobra. Naramdaman ko rin namang mahal niya ako. Naging legal kami. Natutulog ako sa bahay nila, ganoon din siya sa amin. Pero after two years of being in a relationship, bigla na lang natapos ang lahat. Nagbreak kami pero yung pagsasama namin hindi nawala. We still go out together. I go sa house nila and vice versa. I know I was wrong in this part dahil alam ko nga may girlfriend siya. Pero hindi ko siya nilalayuan kasi mahal daw niya ako. At ayaw niya akong mawala sa tabi niya. We went on sa ganong sitwasyon for three years. Nakailang GFs din siya within those years, then it ended so fast. Wala akong habol dahil hindi ako yung girlfriend. We parted ways way back 2019 but until now, every time I think about our past, it still hurts. I still have that feeling I can't explain. Hindi ko alam ang rason, DJ. Gusto kong marinig ng mga iba't ibang opinion if what they think about that feeling. I hope mapili itong little thing na ito. Thank you and more power to your show. Well, my love, wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Tatalo na ako sa storya. If you are wondering what is that feeling, yung nararamdaman mo, it can be a lot of things. One thing is for sure, one of them is familiarity. Sobrang familiar nyo na kasi sa isa't isa. Like that type of closeness is kind of hard to explain. Maybe that's also the reason as to why. Napaka-fast nung relationship para sa kanya. Yung mga GFs niya, come and go. Because none of them can be you. Kumbaga, yung, yung relationship niyo kasi sa isa't isa, it's like having the safe haven. Na hindi ma-penetrate ng ibang tao. Your bond sa isa't isa, yung comfortability niyo sa isa't, sa isa't isa, it's kind of hard to compete with that. And that's the reason as to why nobody else can come close sa relationship na binild nyo para sa isa't isa. Kasi you built a fortress sa relationship na yun. Napaka-deep ng foundation ng relationship ninyo. Yung familiarity ninyo, yung comfortability nyo sa isa't isa. Sobrang hirap niyang basagin. Sobrang hirap niyang tapran. Sobrang hirap niyang alisin sa sistema ninyong dalawa. Sa sobrang sanay nyo na na andyan kayo sa isa't isa, kayo na lang yung hindi nakakaintindi na that is love. You know what I mean? Kayo na lang yung hindi nakaka-realize na whether you deny it or not, that is love. Now, what you want is a different taste of someone. Someone that can excite you. Kasi nga, uulitin ko, familiar na kayo sa isa't isa. Nothing can ever excite the, the two of you. And maybe that's the only thing that's missing from your relationship. Blame it on immaturity, pero feeling ko hindi nyo naiintindihan na kapag ikaw ay sobrang in love sa isang tao, and that love is true, dadating kayo sa point na hindi kayo ganun na excite sa isa't isa. But then again, that excitement can never compare dun sa Hominess. Yung feeling na at home ka sa isang tao na meron kayo para sa isa't isa. Instead of recognizing that as that, nakita nyo to as a downfall sa relationship ninyo na boring na, di na exciting, parang ang baduy na, na maging tayo, parang wala na naman tayong hindi alam sa isa't isa, wala na, there's nothing left to discover. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, blame it on immaturity but I just think na hindi nyo yun nakita sa isa't isa. Na this 
is exactly what love feels. You don't need to excite each other every single day. You don't need to be kilig all the time. Kasama ng taong mahal mo. All you want is the presence of that person and you are fine. It's as if indestructible ka. It's as if walang kahit sino man ang makakapagpapangit ng araw mo. Because you know at the end of the day, you have this person beside you that will walk this life with you. And you are contented with that. My love, that is love. Yun ang tunay na pagmamahal. And now, after so many years of uh, being apart, if you're still wondering what that feeling is, my love, you have just experienced the kind of love that most people takes a lifetime to find. May mga taong gumugugol ng habang buhay. Makahanap lang ng ganong klaseng pagmamahal. You just experienced love. And that's okay. Hindi porkit umalpas, hindi mo na mararanasan ulit. Siguro kapag nagtagpo uli yung landas ninyong dalawa. And the feeling is the same thing. Yung familiarity, yung hominess sa isa't isa. Yung feeling of comfortability even after all these years. Maybe this time, both of you will realize now what you have is some something na ikinaiinggit ng maraming tao what you have is something na hinihiling ng karamihan what you have is something special and sustainable and safe and peaceful what you have is love Claro? Claro.